we are to talk about our favorite topic, CSS. And in the last video, we discussed cards and the style of cards, right? So um, in this video, what I'd like to do is like is, is implement some cards, right? So, you know, uh, down here in the lesson plan, um, I have some ideas for some cards. So here's a little bit of a sample CSS, right? You know, it takes a few rules to get a good looking card happening. Um, but you can read through these and then I'll walk through doing an example here, okay? So generally what the idea is, is we're gonna, um, you know, pick out an element and then arrange the children of that element in some way. Probably with a card, we're gonna arrange them in a column, right? So we'll put, we'll stack them up vertically, okay? And then we might give our card some kind of border to separate it out from the background elements or the elements around it. And then maybe we'll style the things inside to create a visual hierarchy, okay? So let's give that a try, right? So what do we have here for the Zen Garden page? You know, what kind of, what would be a good choice for a card, right? You know, this thing right here might be a good card. You know, it's got a heading, it's got a paragraph and some subcontent, right? Um, you know, one of these might be a card. This kind of looks more like content for the page. This footer would be a good choice for a card, but it, they don't give us enough markup. And remember, we're not allowed to change the markup, right? So, you know, that's, that's usually not a limitation, but, you know, just for the challenge of this project, you know, we're not gonna change the markup, right? So since they only give us the footer here, right, just the footer, and then these five links, like there isn't a lot to grab onto there to style. I mean, you could easily make this a card with just the five, five links in it, and it would just be drawing a box around this, right? And that would be fine but uh, maybe I want to do a little bit more here, right? So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make a card out of um, these sections at the bottom here, right? So, you know, maybe the archive will be the heading and then underneath it, I'll have a list of stuff, okay? So let's try it here. Um, I'm going to go to, uh, let's go to the markup really quick and take a look at what we have here, right? So if I look at this div, archive section here, it looks like this. We've got a, a div that's design archives, it's got an ID, and then it has an H3 that says archives, so that's that. And then it has nav, so oh, the whole thing's wrapped in navigation to say that it's navigation. And then it has a UL, right, which is this list here, right? <clears throat> so this one gives us like plenty of stuff to mark up, right? So let's give it a, a try here. So I'm going to grab, um, you know, we might actually apply the whole, you know, apply those same styles to all three of these and then maybe arrange them all in a row too. Like you could, you could do that, but maybe let's just start with this guy and try and turn that into a card. Right. So, um, so I'm going to grab the, um, class name here and go to my style sheet and maybe I'll make a, um, Actually, maybe it's archives card. Right, we'll, I'll put a comment here, right, and then we'll start off with the class name. So there's the class name there, and so this will be our container. So let's give it a border, right? So I'm going to say border style of one. Oh wait, solid right there, and then now we've, we I can see the border, and then maybe my card needs to have a width now. We might want to control the width dynamically for responsive design, but just to get started, why don't we just give it a, a, a fixed width? So we'll say width of, and actually there's really nothing wrong with this, right? The fixed width is actually kind of good, right? Um, sometimes, right? You know, if you know that your page doesn't want to be smaller than a certain amount, maybe at some points you also don't want things to be larger than a certain amount, right? So, you know, if I say 300, then I can always predict this is going to be 300. So that's actually looking pretty good. We got a card started right there. But there is some weird, you know, space in here. Like I have some space at the top and here, and then there's no space there. And then there's a lot of space over here. So that's kind of strange, right? Why don't we... Um, why don't we add some styles here? Plus, you know, what I'd like to do is a card, oftentimes they have kind of like a an area at the top that's a heading. So maybe I want to turn this H3 
into some kind of heading that sits at the top here, right? So why don't we use this class name and then say, you know, uh, actually, you know what? It's not a child, right? So I have, oh, you know, it is a child actually. So the H3 is the immediate child of the archive. So we can um, use the arrow there, H3. And then I'll say uh, background color is, um, let's make it like a dark gray. And then let's make the foreground color into a light gray. Right, so that doesn't look too bad. Now, the reason I have the space at the top and the bottom here is the margin on the H3. So if I was to inspect this, when I hover over the margin, you can see, or when I hover over the element here in the, um, in the, in the inspector, the orange area above and below tells me that that's margin. And if I look over here at the box model, sometimes you have to go to this computed section. It depends on how you have this laid out, right? but you can see it's showing me that the width is 300, the height is 26, padding is nothing, border is nothing. So that's talking about the H3, right? The margin is 36 on the top and the bottom, right? So maybe I want to um, change that, right? I kind of like that amount of space, but I want the, the background color to fill it. So we're gonna have to switch that over to padding. So I'm going to set up margin here of zero, and that gets rid of everything, right? Doesn't look too bad. And then now, um, let me get that inspector here because it's still selecting that thing, right? Let me just close this, right? Okay. And then we'll set the, uh, the padding right there. So let's set the padding to 36, right? You could do rems if you wanted, right? Ah, so that's not looking too bad, right? So this looks like a card. You know, I've got the title of the card. I've got some elements inside the card, right? So <clears throat> that's looking pretty good. Maybe let's try text align center, right? That looks pretty good. And then now we have these two links here. Maybe the links are fine as they are, but just as a thought, what if we um, put them in a row, you know? It would be kind of better if there was some text above this and then maybe a row of buttons at the bottom you can see that in the card here so the idea i'm thinking of is if i had more stuff to work with um oops i did inspect instead of view let's see what i was thinking of is the idea that we saw over here yeah, actually, you know, over over here, you can see there's a row of things underneath the text, right? So I only have the text, but if I had another, like a block of text and those two links, then, um, then I could put them in a row underneath it, right? The same thing here, like there's a row here. And we'll talk about this later. When we get into background images, we can add an icon next to the text too. So we could create this kind of arrangement, maybe with an arrow pointing left and right for next and previous designs or something, right? So, um, so we could do something like this. In my, our case right here, um, I don't really have a lot to work with, right? They're only giving me the two links, but let's try arranging them in a row anyway. So um, when I look in here, you can see I've got the H3, and then there's the nav, and then there's the UL, and then the child of the UL, the children, are the two LI type tags, right? So this LI right here, that's the first link, and then there's the second one, right? So um, what do we need here? We need a selector that's going to get us the UL and the child LI tags, right? So descendant UL, because there's a nav in between, we could have done, you know, like we could have done this too, but that seemed, that seemed overly complicated. So I'm just going to go down, you know, find the descendant UL and then get the LI tags, right? We probably could have just done this too, right? But I think I'm going to do this just for, I don't know, just because I feel like that's pretty safe, right? Um, I don't know why. I'm just going to do it this way. <laughs> okay. You know, it's up to you. You can you can choose your own, right? You know, um, you know, because there's so many choices for um, for selectors, right? You know, think about them, right? So let's do that, and then let's do. Oh, I forgot. Actually, I made a mistake. We want to do this, right? Because we're going to use flex, and we're going to um, 
set the parent element to display flex, right? So actually, you know, maybe we'll do this. Let's do, we'll probably need both of these selectors, right? So the first one to get the parent and the second one to get the child li tags, right? So let's do this. Let's do display flex, right? Oh, now they're, everybody's in a row. Um, I want to get rid of the bullet point. So I'm going to say list style um, none. And then I have a lot of space on the left side, which is a little weird, right? So that I think is because of the padding on the UL. So let's take a look at it, right? Just for fun. So we'll inspect here. And when I look at the UL, let me rearrange these windows just like a little bit here. There we go, right? So when I inspect this UL, you can see the orange area <clears throat> is the margin at the top and bottom. And that green space that you see here, <clears throat> right, this green area is the, um, is the padding. I don't know why my box here is not lighting up again, but you can see I got 40 pixels of, of padding and 18 pixels of margin at the top and the bottom, right? So let's remove all that. So let's say, you know, padding zero, and that gets rid of that. And then maybe we'll say, actually, you know, I kind of like the margin. We need a little bit of space here, but I also need maybe a little bit of space on the left and right. So um, let's do margin of two rem, I don't know. Hmm, maybe that's a little too much because it's kind of squeezing this onto the next line. Maybe just one rem there, right? And then maybe I want to space these out a little bit so we could do um, justify content and uh, space between, right? So there, that doesn't look too bad, right? Um, you know, we could improve on it too when, as soon as we get into the background images, right? So like a background image might be nice to replace this with an icon, right? And if there was more content, this could sit in a row underneath it, right? So just to show you, now normally we're not going to edit the the um, the Zen Garden page, but just as the idea here, you know, you might have something like this, right? You might have a paragraph in here that um, has some content in it, right? Some content for this card, right? You know, so now I have a card here. If I add a little bit of margin on the um, on the left side or around the outside, then it would line up with everything on the interior, right? You know, let's just try that just for fun. So um, I guess, I guess actually we don't even, I didn't even need this style, right? So let's say, I think we're um, child here, right? So I'll do child paragraph like this. And then we could say, you know, uh, margin of one rem, right? Oh, and then that kind of lines up nicely. And if we had more content there, it would kind of fill out the, our card, right? So we need more content to, wait, I misspelled that. There we go, right? So that's looking pretty good. So my challenge now for you is not to edit the CSS Zen Garden page. I'm going to put that back to the way that it was, right? But my my challenge to you is to identify some area in here where you want to create a card, right? So create a card and design it yourself. You know, like you know, it should have maybe like a little kind of header at the top, some content, uh, a way to delineate it from the background. So that can be a lot of things. It could be a shadow. It could be a, um, you know, a border is, a, is like a really common idea. We could take some of the ideas from this uh, web awards right here, right? So take a look at this again. Oops, I inspect it again, right? So take a look at this and see what you see here for cards, right? You know, so take a look at some of those ideas and then, you know, identify some things in there. Maybe look at the Zen Garden page and see what kind of cards people have used here. And um, and then you can look at the ideas here and and follow the stuff in this video. Right. And but anyway, pull something out of there and design your own cards. Right.
So, you know, I kind of like what I have here. If I did the same treatment on the select the design and resources, I could maybe arrange all three of those in a row and that might look good on my page, right? So anyway, thanks for watching and I hope that that's useful information for you.